Aston Martin will show their vanquish in LA. Audi kicks off the holidays early with the gift of diesel. And they immediately renew our cynicism by approving a Q8 for production. I'm Rory, it's Wednesday, and everybody knows Custer died at Little Bighorn. What this edition of the news presupposes is maybe he didn't? We've driven it, and you've no doubt seen some lovely pictures of it. Now at the end of the month, you'll be able to ogle it in person. Of course, we're talking about Aston Martin's new Vanquish. It's got a 565 horsepower V12 that also turns out 457 foot-pounds of torque. It's got carbon fiber bodywork and a lovely new interior. Wes Reynolds says it's awesome to drive, but he was also able to forgive Aston Martin for failing to make a manual transmission available. If you see one on the stand in LA and decide you absolutely must have it, you'll just need a check for around $285,000. Audi will increase the number of diesels it sells in the US, adding a diesel variant of the A7, A6, and Q5 that will join the Q7 TDI on these shores late next year. Notably absent from the announcement was a TDI-powered version of the R8. Still no diesel R8. Once again, Audi is not building a diesel R8. All the good karma that Audi generated with their oil burner announcement was immediately balanced out by reports from Car Magazine that the Volkswagen subsidiary has approved for production a monster Q8 SUV with extremely limited utility. It'll be sort of like BMW's X6, and it will be built on VW's new MLB platform, which is set to underpin the next Volkswagen Touareg and Porsche Cayenne. And you know, who can really blame them? We're just going to keep encouraging the Germans, and they're just going to keep behaving like this. And that's the pre-Thanksgiving news. We'll be taking some time off this week for the holiday, but we'll be back on Monday and noticeably fatter. Feel free to peruse our other videos at AutoWeek.com or on YouTube until we get back. Until then, enjoy the drive. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.